Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about polar and integration. So now I will show you how to answer. We need to find the area inside R equals to 3 sine theta and outside R equals to 1 plus sine theta. So now I will show you how to answer. First, we need to find the intersection of this one and this one. Next, we put side data go to the left and we have 3 minus 1 and we have 2. And we have side data equals to 1 over 2. So we need, we need to find the solution of this one. And we have two solutions. The first one, that's about theta equal to our side of 1 over 2. And the second one, theta equals to b minus R side of 1 over 2 because we just concentrate only one circle of trigonometry so that's why we don't need to use about k to b in here and this number in here we have b over 6 this one b minus b over 6 we will have about 5b over 6 Next, we know that the area inside this one, but outside this one, that means this one bigger than this one in here. Now, we apply the formula to find the area in here. That should be about the integral from b over 6 to 5b over 6. And we have 1 over 2 in here. And we know that outside, that means this one is smaller than this one. So we have 3b in here. 3 sine theta. So we put about power 2 in here. Minus this one to the power of number 2. And we have d data. Now we need to calculate about this one. So we need to expand this one. And this one. Nine minus one, we have eight. Next, we have the formula in here. That's about sine theta square equals to 1 minus cosine 2 theta over 2. So we put this one to replace this one. A divided by 2, we have 4. Four minus one, we have three. And now we can get the final answer. The integral of number three, we have three data. The next one is about one over two, side two, theta. And the last one, So we put the bounds from b over 6 to 5b over 6.
4 divided by 2 we have number 2 and now we can put the bounds in here The final answer that should be about B. This is the end. Thank you for watching.